this is the carrying forward of the legend. But how many of you believe that he shot the arrow and uh, the sea went back? Or for that matter, that sea was somewhere else and then it came down here. How many of you believe? How many of you believe? You believe. You have to believe? Somebody is telling us something wrong. If Parshuram shot the air and all that's what they are told, they are not sure. But it is a geological fact. The geological fact is that the sea was right down where the rain is today. I stand to be correct. We have already here. But uh, this is only to promote the heritage. I make it technically not extremely correct. The sea was up to there. And due to the tectonic movement, the entire range, what we call it the Sayadis, from Rajasthan to Kerala, they came up. Along with that, the land also tilted up and the water came back. Now today, when I tell you this, there must be some reason for it. They have found one church at heights of uh, around the, see this is the place where the Parshiram is supposed to have done his puja, and that was on the Roman. And this is the temple. Now, they have found one shell embedded in the mud about 140, 145 meters in the range. One shell are normally found at the bottom of the sea. No? So, how did they reach out the So, either this line must have gone down or this line must have come up. We don't have to go very far. Nearby on the way to Vasco is a place called a Sampoa. You have heard about it somewhat. The original name of this is Shamsori. Village of Shams. Why is there to find Shams on top of the mountain in the middle? Telling us that it was at the bottom of the sea. So, this is the legend.